Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday the 13th of July. Um, the timing is fluid, so whenever this resonates with you, I have chosen this deck right here. It's a kind of loud deck. I don't know why I chose it. I don't know why I was in the bathroom when it guys came to me. So we... It, you know, we're going to go ahead and use this deck. I'm not sure if it will, if I, you know, if I, whatever. I have to go with what I, what I am told. So, kind of loud deck. I'm not really into loud being a bull. So, we will see what comes up of this. Um, Daily energy for Friday the 13th, could be yesterday, could be today. Keep in mind that if this reeling, reeling, if this reading feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, then it's wrong. We have the lovers reversed, the strength reversed. Something could be coming to an end. Somebody's giving up, perhaps. There's been, there's been too many conflicts. And I don't have any fight. I don't have any fight left. I don't have any strength left to fight. Somebody lacks confidence in a union. No confidence in it. Four of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is releasing. I'm no longer going to hold on and resist what I know needs to happen. Letting go. Releasing. The Queen of Cups reversed. A lack of emotional fulfillment here this isn't this isn't healing me it's making me feel emotionally withdrawn at this time I, it's not fulfilling my heart whatever this is and by me holding on I'm not following my intuition so I feel like somebody is finding the well, I can't say strength because strength is reversed. They're turning their back on something. I realize I realize that I have other opportunities waiting for me. Page of Swords reversed. Somebody has been avoiding this letting go, whatever it is, because they didn't want to deal with the conflict. I didn't want to deal with the conflict. I didn't want to deal with the pain. But you can only avoid a breakdown for so long until the universe takes over and causes this breakdown. Somebody has been trying to avoid this for quite some time trying to avoid this letting go resisting restraining themselves from taking action but now they know they know that they have to release i have to let go this isn't serving me i can't hold on any longer i just cannot destiny plays a part here okay this is definitely universally driven Okay, it is. <laughs> There's no doubt that this is universally driven. There's an end of a contract. There's an end of a union, an end of a partnership. There's been too much, too much arguing, too many conflicts, and a lot of indecision here. Somebody has held on for quite some time, hoping that things would heal, hoping that things would get better. And now they have come to the realization, or they maybe it's not even them. Maybe the universe says, okay, 
Because the Wheel of Fortune is like the wheel is spinning whether you like it or not. A change of course is on the way. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose and it's a really good thing with the Wheel of Fortune. It's time for you to start this new chapter. When you release, it brings something better. Because this is the release and this is the better. Ooh. No, I don't know if I can make this go any higher. I don't think I can. So, it feels as though somebody is headed towards healing. Headed towards healing, toward, headed towards balance and harmony. It's like... I feel as though somebody has been tricked. This is the magician reversed. Somebody has been tricked or manipulated. Or deceived. Into thinking that the grass, you know, wouldn't be greener on the other side, that the future is any brighter. You should stay where you're at because it's not going to get any better than it is now. Somebody has, has tried to fill somebody up with a pile, okay? You know, you're dealing with somebody who is very cunning. And doesn't have your best interest at heart. Maybe they were just looking for the fortune that you had to offer. Either way, you're dealing with a somebody who doesn't want you to move on. But there's so many conflicts and so many arguments and like a disconnection between the two people. There's just a huge disconnection. You could be dealing with a person that has a victim mentality and doesn't see their part in any of this. And it takes two to tango. And it's brought you down and caused you to lack confidence in your own decisions. So I feel as though either today or whenever this resonates for you, Somebody is letting go. They are with the Four of Pentacles reverse. This is no longer resisting. I'm ready for this change, of course. I'm ready for this good fortune to come into my life. It's, it's time for me to believe. It's time for me to allow. This is like a the temperance card I'm pointing at. It's a spiritual renewal. Somebody comes to some realization about who they really are and what they really want and that they've been tricked and deceived by another person. The magician reverse is a trickster, a liar. But I realize what the truth is. I know who I am. And I'm not going to let you emotionally, emotionally blackmail me into staying in this situation that is less than harmonious. So I feel as though somebody has tried to avoid a disaster for quite some time. Somebody has been saying whatever they have to say to get them to avoid this next move. But now, you know, now I see, now I know that it's time for me to move on and focus on my future. 
it's like I knew that this was going to happen eventually and we put it off for long enough and I can't let myself be deceived any longer whether you, this is being deceived by another person or being deceived by yourself I mean this is the magician reversed you know and these are both cards of alchemy somebody I mean the temperance and the and the uh well the magician is labeled the alchemist in this card I mean they both are you have the power to change your life whenever you want you do you do and somebody has come to that conclusion somebody didn't want you to change but you're doing it anyway You could have been dealing with a water sign. You could be dealing with a Leo. We could have a Gemini. We have Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Sagittarius. We have Gemini again. It doesn't really matter. Whatever is happening, there's a change of course on the horizon. There's a completion of a chapter in your life that starts a new one. You let go and a new chapter starts almost instantly. This is destiny. This change that is happening is destined to happen so that you can bring harmony and peace and balance back to your life so that you can feel at ease again. Let me get some clarifiers here. <laughs> I mean, the very first card, the lover's reverse, is an end of a contract. A contract that was made is, is being dissolved. It's being dissolved. It's no longer part of the future. There's no confidence in it. There's no security in that contract. It's being severed. The ties are being severed. I no longer want to prove myself. I just want to be happy at this time. I don't want to fight about it anymore. Yes, okay, fine. I've been defeated. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. At this point, I just want to be happy. You won. You won. I'm headed towards my happiness. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Somebody has decided to cooperate. I am. I am going to cooperate with the written plan. Destiny. Princess of Pentacles, somebody has not had your best interest at heart. Okay? This is the uh, page of Pentacles. They were there was blockages. This person was blocking you from from peace and harmony. The situation was blocking you. It wasn't the right situation to be in. And I think that somebody has come to the realization. This whole situation caused me to lose my focus, caused me to lose my strength, my self confidence, my self worth, my self esteem. Somebody stubbornly held on to it because they were being manipulated into doing that. Whether it's it's straight out manipulation with this with this princess of swords, which could be harsh, or it's it's subtle, you know, manipulation. There's there's some sort of manipulation here, where, which would be emotionally emotional blackmail. Somebody has with this Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody has, which an emotional blackmail can go in so many forms. Silent treatment. You know, that's one way to do it. Um, not telling the truth. Um, trying to make you feel bad for something that you did. Not letting it end. Not to owning up their part. Not wanting to talk about it. Not wanting to communicate. Crying, you know, that to make people feel sorry for them. Sympathy, wanting sympathy all the time. Holding grudges. Those are all forms of emotional blackmail. Manipulation. So I feel as though you were dealing with somebody that was that was um, 
manipulating you into staying in a situation where there was no growth, there was a lot of conflicts, you tried to work together for quite some time and now it's like, you know what, I can't, I'm not going to prove myself, I can't prove myself, I know that I can't prove myself and it's not right, it's not right for me to stay in this situation that doesn't serve my highest good. So I feel like somebody is turning their back on a situation that is not right, okay, with the Princess of Pentacles. It's not the right path to continue to follow. This person refuses to budge. They refuse to learn anything. It's like, no, whoever you're dealing with, they're right, you're wrong. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, there's no compromising here. And it's like, you know what, I need compromise I feel like somebody has decided to turn their back on a manipulative situation in search for peace and harmony. The universe, the Wheel of Fortune card, it says the time is now for this change. You could receive communication from somebody that helps you to move on. Uh, maybe you just need, maybe somebody, maybe your friends or, or somebody in your family helps you through this. The hangman. And I flipped it over sideways. So the challenge is freeing yourself from a situation that you have been stuck in. Sacrificing yourself needlessly. Somebody didn't want you to see the new perspective. They didn't want you to see it any other way but their way. But now you do. Somebody has been wanting to resist change and they've come to the point where they're not going to resist it anymore. I'm not going to resist this change because I deserve to be appreciated. I deserve to work as a team with someone. The challenge is facing this struggle. It is going to be a struggle. But when the Wheel of Fortune comes in, you're at a crossroads and your life is about to change for the better. Let go of this conflicted, unharmonious, contract. It's done. The lover's reverse. The lover's is a contract. It's time to, if somebody is making, there's been so much indecision, but it feels like the decision has been made to, to move on. I'm, I'm, no, I'm moving on. I'm going to let you win. These people see they're not they're not going. They giving it to him. Take it. Go. These people aren't chasing him. He thinks he's the victor.
He's not worth it. You're not worth it. I've decided you're not worth it. Take your fight someplace else. I think we had this we had this card already. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. We're going to read it again because I can't remember these cards. There's just too much. This moment in your life requires great courage. And there's lack of it. But you're, you're, you'll get it. Okay. <laughs> Fortunately, you, you possess that in, a, in bucket loads. You are being asked to allow yourself to be lifted out of one level of known reality and into the next level of higher voltage reality. Higher voltage reality requires a more absolute trust and a heart that is surrendered into the greater heart of the universe so that life can happen to us, through us, and with us more quickly, more radically, more beautifully and more boldly. You are now being invited into this new reality where things happen quickly and according to bold, loving optimism. This is the reality not only of potential, but of manifestation of great, of the great, big, cosmic yes. You notice I put it right over this Wheel of Fortune. To assess this reality... You have to leap from known waters, and others may think you are crazy for doing so. You have to leave behind the dark, weighty grip of hesitation, procrastination, second-guessing, and the belief you have to do everything on your own, working together. You may fear for your life. How will you be safe in the wild electrical pulse of so much aliveness? How will you function without the hazy, sleep-inducing paralysis of playing it safe? Oh, taking too long and placing lesser priorities above your sacred art of life. How will you hold yourself back if you don't hold on to fear? And somebody has been holding on to fear. You do not need to worry about such things. Life is wild, but it is also wise. It is a force of startling, raw awakening at times. But it is also the natural process of evolution where all things mature according to a seasonal cycle in right timing. And this is divine timing. You are part of, not, not apart from that process. The invitation to shift gears, to jump on board the express train of life, will feel exhilarating and perhaps also challenging. When you are the hold of the darkness, when you are in the hold of the darkness, which somebody absolutely is, okay, they are, you will feel pushed to turn away, to imagine it is all too much and to create excuses about how your desires aren't grounded enough. And that's blackmail. It, it's, maybe you're doing it to yourself, that you are being too flighty or flaky, or that you are not living in the real world. That is fear talking, not truth. If the soul is not awakened, we will continue to live in a culture drenched in fear, and distrust of nature. Those without awakened hearts don't yet understand what nature knows. She knows timing. She knows life and death. She knows the creative process. She just knows and can be trusted to support us, her own creations, and becoming all that we can become. 
Does this mean that we become passive and just flow along, like a limp leaf detached from the tree and blown about randomly by the breeze? No. Being free of the dark hold empowers us to take up our cause. This means being free to act and affirm the intuitive feelings we have by following up on them. This is painting like someone who has lost their mind, completely free and from the heart. It means writing even though you have no conscious idea of what you are writing, even as, even as the words are streaming forth upon the page before your rather curious eyes. And it means speaking about your work, never hiding it away. Allow it to breathe the fresh air and be held in the gaze of another. Detach from the darkness that would say it's not enough or must be the best thing ever. Detach from the darkness. Whatever that means, in order to be worthy of a place in the world, instead, just let it be what it is. It might fly, it might endure, and it might not. All of nature, including you in the passions and the dreams, will be what is needed when it is needed and how it is needed according to wisdom. We just have to trust in this. Within ourselves and within nature herself, through the flow of life, and participate. You are asked to go within and imagine diving deep off the edge of what you have known. There is so much more calling to you now. It is time. It's time. It's your time to leap. Leap. Walk away from the fight. Follow your heart. Talk to you next time.